Can you give a summary of your research uh, using podcasting as a tool for assessment for learning? Thank you. Um, as you know from assessment for learning, the most important thing is not the feedback, but, and, you know, apologies for this term, the feed forward. So what we know is that in order for assessment to be effective and for assessment to be productive, we need to move learners from where they are to where they can go next. So feedback needs to point in a future-looking direction as well as in a backward-looking direction. And learners need to understand kind of where they are in those sort of segments and moments of their learning journey. So a number of colleagues here in the Cass School of Education and elsewhere in the University of East London as a whole are exploring the way in which podcasting and feedback can be used in, in an assessment for learning type fashion. So the idea would be that we would use podcasts, not written work, we wouldn't mark on scripts, but we would use audio recordings to provide a kind of rich and engaging, a stimulating piece of feedback to learners. In doing so, modelling to them feedback practices and strategies that they themselves can use with their own learners. And effectively, we haven't quite figured out the kind of the pedagogy of these podcasts yet. We don't know if we would say the grade at the front or would we not even grade at all? Um, would we hold the grade off until the end of the audio? Um, would we actually talk about the script by talking about page on your essay page two, on your essay page four, and have learners listening to the audio and having their script in front of them? Um, but we, we like the idea of podcasting being such a rich medium and such a, a kind of genuine warm opportunity that you know, we, we want to explore the possibilities of it engaging learners in feedback, but in fact really engaging learners in feed forward. And that's the piece of research we're about to start here at the Cass School of Education.